Back and forth we go here at Progressive Field. Cleveland leads Seattle five to three in the top of the sixth inning after a three run bottom of the fifth. Ty France leads things off for the Mariners. Right handed hitting DH. 0 for 1 with a ground out, a hit by pitch. And he'll face Logan Allen, the Cleveland Southpaw, looking to go six innings. First pitch to France. Right down the middle, strike one called at the kneecaps. 91 on the gun from Allen. He winds and fires. 0 1 is a letter high fastball, the ball into strike to France. Logan Allen looking to earn his second quality start in his last three appearances. Dials in a sweeper that falls over the outside corner. One and two. In June, Allen is 1-0 with a 2-4-5 ERA. The one-two. Floated foul onto the club sweep level. Right side and out of play. Ty France just activated on June 18th off the 10-day IL with a right heel fracture. Waits on the one-two. Change up in tight. Count even at two balls, two strikes, with nobody on, nobody out in the Mariners' top half of the sixth. They trail Cleveland 5-3. to three. Allen's 2-2 two -two home. Just a bit inside on the sweeper. Thigh height breaking stuff off the inner third. The 3-2. Ball four to France. Try the fastball at 91. France tangos out of it. And there's a leadoff walk for the Mariners who trail by two. It's 5-3 Cleveland in this top of the sixth inning. One on first with nobody out. Mitch Hanniger bats right-handed. Walked his last time up, struck out his first time up. Allen stretches and delivers. Sweeper down and in at the ankles and a ball and a strike to Hanniger. Hanniger spent last year with the San Francisco Giants but was dealt back to Seattle. Here comes the 1-0. In tight, but in there. Sweeper goes box to box and it's one and one. Hanniger was reacquired in the Robbie Ray deal. Robbie Ray, AL Cy Young Award winner with the Blue Jays. The 1-1. Hanniger bounces it into the Cleveland third base dugout and it's one and two with nobody out. Ray won that with the Blue Jays, was sent to Seattle and then to San Francisco. Mitch Hanniger headlined that deal in return. The lead, the set, the one-two. Hacked foul straight back. Robbie Ray's former team, the Toronto Blue Jays, will come here starting tomorrow for three games against the Guardians. Cleveland took one of three north of the border last weekend. Seattle will go to Florida for six games against the Marlins and the Rays. A one and two. On the ground is short. Rocchio charges, loses the handle. It one hops to Jimenez. He throws the first, not in time, but they inadvertently get the lead runner at second. One out, 5-3 Cleveland, top of the sixth. And a man on first, it's Mitch Hanniger, who reaches on a fielder's choice. Rocchio lost the handle on the transfer, but it was right place, right time for Andres Jimenez, who scooped it up, stepped on second, and threw to first, but it was late. Tyler Locklear bats right-handed, first pitch. Loses the handle, flips it foul off to the right. His bat goes to the left, the ball goes to the right. He's going to grab it back from the Guardians' bat boy just to the left of home. And he's going to get a stick of pine tar to slather it on his handle from the on-deck man, Victor Robles. Logan Allen, the pride of Florida International. Second round pick in 2020, a former FIU Panther. Right now he's in position to win his eighth game this year. Looks the runner at first in Hanniger, comes set at the belt and delivers. 0-1 is one hop to short. Rocchio has it, throws to second for one. Jimenez's turn throw in time, a double play. Six plus four plus three equals two. Logan Allen earns his second quality start in his third start in June. Five-three Cleveland, midway through the sixth there at Progressive Field. Brennan, Schneeman, Freeman, two up next for the Guardians.